certain names define a cultural geography. For modern French architecture and its international reach, the name is Le Corbusier, as the Swiss-born Charles-Édouard Jeanneret chose to call himself. The new exhibition at the Museum of Modern Art, Le Corbusier, an atlas of modern landscapes, reveals the ways in which Le Corbusier observed and imagined landscapes throughout his career, using all the artistic techniques at his disposal. Curator and architectural historian Jean-Louis Cohen guides Canapé into the imagination of a 20th century visionary. Le Corbusier remains a historical figure, the greatest architect probably uh, of the 20th century, maybe arguably together with Frank Lloyd Wright. And he has left not only 75 buildings, 400 paintings, 45 books, and uh, much archival material, but also he has given us the figure of a modern architect. He was the first architect to have a global activity and to construct a worldwide uh, work. Le Corbusier was born under the name of Charles-Edouard Jeanneret in La chaux de fonds a Swiss city, where half the world's watches and pocket watches were produced before 1914. So the city was small, but had a worldwide range already. He was trained in the uh, School of Art to uh, observe landscape, to uh, draw watch cases, and his, uh, I would say that the precision of his lines that we see in the exhibition, in his many drawings, something that came out from his early training. It's clear that La chaux de fonds and even uh, cities like uh, Munich or Vienna uh, or Zurich were too small for uh, the young man's ambitions. So Le Corbusier wanted to seduce Paris, wanted to build in Paris, wanted to situate his buildings against the backdrop of Paris's monuments and, and in the end wanted to reshape Paris completely according to his plans. So he pursued uh, the dream of rebuilding Paris as a totally rational crystalline city for decades, never succeeded but nonetheless left very important structures throughout the city and the region. Le Corbusier started uh, moving around the world, around Europe in the late 20s. He made grand projects for Moscow and built this larger structure of the interwar period in Moscow. And then his trips to Latin America, to uh, North Africa and to the US um, produced extremely important and provocative projects that never succeeded. And it would be only in the 50s when uh, uh, Prime Minister Nehru of India asked him to build a new capital for the state of Punjab called Chandigarh that he was able to uh, conceive to draw an entire city. The city was built according to his urban plan. He made the capital which remained an extraordinary uh, combination of public buildings and probably the largest ensemble of all the ones he had designed and dreamed of during decades. The show here is very important for the complex relationship of the Corbusier in America. Uh, it is the largest show ever made in this country. Uh, there were many previous attempts, but they were to a certain extent uh, uh, failures because on one hand, a museum like MoMA was probably more interested in figures like Frank Lloyd Wright or Mies van der Rohe or Alva Alto. And also because after having lost several battles here in America, in particular the battle for the uh, uh, construction of the UN headquarters in the late 40s, Le Corbusier was vehemently anti-American at the end of his life. So the last 15 summers of his life he spent on the seashore in the small cabanon, in the, in the small shack he built for himself, where he would, in a way, in his summer hermitage, uh, uh, make many projects, uh, write his last books and also die ultimately.
If drama begins when an event ruptures a stable situation, nothing could be more dramatic than a hit-and-run accident. In the Cannes Film Festival-nominated thriller Three Worlds, director Catherine Corsini uses one fatal moment of misjudgment to take a look at class, morality, and social diversity in today's France. Actor Raphael Personnaz talks to Canapé about his lead role as the man who drives the car and runs away. Je voulais donner la parole donc à un, au leader, c'est un homme, alors que mes derniers films c'était souvent, enfin c'était des rôles de, tenus par des femmes. Tout, tout, en, tout en travaillant sur des thèmes qui me sont propres, c'est-à-dire les rapports de classe, c'est-à-dire la position de, de, de quelqu'un dans le monde qui cherche justement sa place ou qui a une place mais qui n'y est pas bien. Et je pense que c'est un film aussi sur la conscience et comment les gens s'éveillent à une certaine conscience. Quoi. Il s'est rien passé. Demain, on se retrouve comme prévu. Nous, avec Martin, on va s'occuper de la caisse. J'habite avenue Lumière. J'ai tout vu le soir de l'accident. Quel accident J'étais à la fenêtre. Je vous ai vu. At the beginning, he can't accept reality, which is too, too, too horrible for him. And after, he is going to have to deal with it. So you have got many choices, or you buy uh, the silence, or you really accept uh, what you are with your weakness and your bad, uh, your, your dark sides. And there is another character which was a witness of this accident, uh, which is played uh, uh, by uh, Clotilde uh, She's the only one to accept uh, this guy as he is, with his weakness and dark side. And, uh, uh, and to say to him, Your uh, to accept his humanity with all that. Before he was the perfect guy, and all of a sudden there is somebody who say, "You are not this perfect guy, but you are human, and you can do something good in your life, maybe." C'est la personne qui a trouvé votre mari. Merci. Ah, merci. Allez à vous. Vous êtes nommé gérant et propriétaire de 25% des parts de la société. Merci. Les 25% restants allant à Mademoiselle Tessard. Si je me dénonce, c'est toute ma vie, c'est tout ce que j'ai construit qui s'effondre. Mais vous pouvez pas la laisser comme ça, elle a rien. On a trouvé un type qui a vu l'accident. Allez la voir. Tu le connais Je sais où il habite. Va te dénoncer, va. Mister Perfect. C'est un film qui en même temps est tragique. En même temps, raconte, je trouve, l'histoire du monde aujourd'hui. Et euh, voilà, je voulais que ça soit un film en même temps moderne. Voilà, c'est un film effectivement qui, qui est complexe, qui, qui propose beaucoup de, beaucoup de choses, parce qu'en même temps, il y a tout d'un coup, il y a une, une dimension philosophique, parce qu'il y a un prof de philo qui est le, le, le futur mari de, de Juliette, qui va donner, j'allais dire, une interprétation presque de cette histoire en parlant de Heidegger et en parlant du, du, du choix. Et puis, de, de, voilà, on peut, on peut faire beaucoup de choses pour quelqu'un, on peut échanger beaucoup de choses avec quelqu'un, mais on ne peut pas mourir à la place de quelqu'un d'autre. Voilà, et, et voilà, c'est aussi une, une chose qui éclaire le film. La personne avec qui j'ai coécrit le scénario, c'est-à-dire à qui j'ai proposé de travailler, Benoît, euh, est quelqu'un qui a fait de la philo, et ce qui m'intéressait finalement, c'était son, son regard presque de philosophe sur, sur, ce, sur le monde. Et, 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 et j'avais envie d'intégrer cette, euh, cette chose-là, parce que c'est quelque chose qui pouvait m'apporter. Donc on en a parlé longuement, justement, de, effectivement, de la conscience, de la responsabilité, du destin. Enfin voilà, parce que le film manie tout ce, ce genre d'interrogation. Donc c'est ça qui m'a donné envie, quoi. If there is a single most important book in 20th century French literature, it is the epic psychological novel of manners À la recherche du temps perdu, known in English either as, in direct translation, In Search of Lost Time, or, drawing from a phrase by Shakespeare, Remembrance of Things Past. Written by the reclusive Marcel Proust and published in multiple volumes, the entire work exceeds 2,000 pages, 
The journey to fame for Proust and his mammoth tome began with the publication in 1913 of the first volume titled Swan's Way. Cultural counselor for France in the United States, Antonin Baudry, talks with Canapé about the enduring importance and pleasures of Proust. So why now in 2013 do we celebrate Proust here in New York? Because 2013 is the centennial of the first editing of La Recherche du Temps Perdu, and uh, it has been edited exactly in November 1913 in France. And of course, there had been a lot of books edited in 1913. So why this one? Maybe because it's the most important book in French literature, and also maybe because it is the source of many philosophic works in different directions. We can think of psychoanalysis, but also analytic philosophy. And I think that in, in these two areas of research, Proust plays a significant role. Why should an American person in 2013 read this book? Well, I would say first because it's fun. I was at a reading, public reading, um, of the beginning of Swan's Way, which is a part of Remembrance of Things Past, at NYU a few weeks ago. And everybody was laughing. It's really a very fun book. The second reason is that it is universal. It doesn't describe only the high upper French society. It describes all the internal mechanisms that we can also discover within ourselves. And it describes it so precisely that when you read it, you're really amazed to find yourself captured in this book. There is one scene that almost everybody knows or remembers when one has read it, which is the scene of the Madeleine. And the principle of it is uh, first that there is a long way to remember the important things of your past that still are active in your current life and that some objects such as a Madeleine can lead you to this path. And the certain um, lesson, the certain philosophic uh, principle behind this scene is that it is the only thing on earth that can make you happy to find uh, who you are through the past and through the writing of the past. Is it tough these days being a bachelor who works as a freelance illustrator in Paris? You bet it is. Just ask the protagonist of the new romantic comedy, The Stroller Strategy, whose girlfriend leaves him early in the game. When a baby literally falls into his arms, it's time to rethink how to woo back the departed. Would she be attracted to a man who is now a responsible parent? Canapé takes a look at the farcical hit movie. It was my first leading part in a comedy. And uh, uh, this comedy is really written about situation, uh, absurd uh, situations. You, so you have to, to be the more sincere as possible. And uh, this movie was about uh, a, a guy who is trying to, to, to appear like a 
uh, a good dad. So it's it's like in the Tutsi, the, the the movie with Dustin Hoffman. You know, he tries to 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 have his love back uh, by a, a, a transvestite himself. So that was the same thing. He, he tries to appear as a dad, uh, and he's not that kind of guy. So that was about the lying. Uh, uh, this guy is he, he, always lying, and a, a lie uh, comes after another. So. Salut Thomas, je vous suis Marie. Merci de faire cette invitation. Bonne chance. Tu n'as pas envie? C'est sérieux? J'ai l'impression qu'on n'avance plus. Je préfère partir maintenant. Après, c'est ça, trop difficile. Tu penses encore beaucoup à elle Ça fait un an qu'elle m'a quitté. En fait, il y a votre bébé, il est tombé dessus. Tu peux rester avec lui, s'il te plaît mais Je sais pas comment ça marche, moi. Non, 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 mais ça marche pas du tout à cet âge-là. Tu pues. Je mets pas les mains là-dedans, moi. Je suis désolé, je peux rien faire pour toi. Ça, c'est la Rolls. Avec ça, tu chopes la jeune maman, divorcée, sexuellement, elle est loin, enfin... C'est pas de ma faute si les femmes n'est pas ça. Il faut bien la chauffer, bon, comme ça, tu sens. T'as piqué un bébé pour aller voir Marie, mais t'as génie. Thomas Marie, ça me fait bizarre de te voir, je m'attendais pas. Et... C'est à toi Oui. Mais quel âge il a Quel petit. Well, actually, this guy is really from my generation in France. He, he is. Uh, he has prop. He's, he, he's got some issues by the fact of growing up and be being responsible. And um, the fact is that he, he has to carry that baby. He has to take care of him. And uh, suddenly, he, he will take care of somebody who is not himself for once. So he will have a, a future perspective with that baby. And he, he understands, I think, at the end of the movie, that he can you know, do something in his life. He can really build a, a new life, because he understood that uh, by the fact of being generous and out of himself, he, he, he will il va grandir. C'est le point de la série. Ben oui, ça me fait bizarre de te voir. Oui, ça me fait bizarre que t'as un bébé dans les bras. Putain, c'est lequel le mec Il s'appelle comment Claude. Claude. T'as le bébé, mais t'as toujours pas la tête d'un papa. Le bébé, tu me prêteras. Non, mais t'es malade, c'est pas un jeu. Voilà, t'es en confiance, là. Et là, tu donnes. Et là, c'est beau. Là, il y a du geste. Tu vas trop loin. Il y a eu la vérité. Faut que t'arrêtes de faire n'importe quoi avec ce bébé, sa mère, Marie, parce que tu vas finir par leur faire du mal à tous. Si tu te débarques avec ton fils, après tu me dis que t'es séparé, tu cherches quoi, Thomas là T'es venu me narguer Et non. T'es venu me draguer Je fais des petites courses, quoi. These little bombs hold the power to strengthen the dunes, to make them stronger, to make them healthy again. And uh, they were quite damaged by the storm. They were damaged before the storm. And we're just giving Mother Nature a little help. Put them in. Yeah, here, give me your me hand. Too. Give me your hand. That's grasses, these ones. These ones are, the, and that's, these? That's um, uh, sumac. Sumac. What does sumac do? Sumac, it's um, it grows, sumac? so it, it 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 grows roots. We want the roots to hold the dunes in place. Because dunes are made of sand, so they move very easily. Mm, so now you pour sand. water. Mm. I think we can use a tiny bit more water. A just a tiny bit. There you go. That's we good. Go. We don't want it sprouting when we're keeping it here. We want it to sprout once it's out in nature. So we want it to dry up as fast as possible when it's here, so we can keep them a little longer. And then when it's time for us to go and throw them in the dunes, the rainwater will take care of getting them wet and getting them to sprout.
Monsanto is to obsolete them. Like we just have to be better than they are and, and show like local productivity is far more efficient. We're losing our soil at a rapid pace as well from the Monsanto industrial paradigm. Um, and so a lot of it has to do with coming back to the land, understanding the indigenous concepts of how to be in balance with the rhythms in this massive transition. So that, if any of you want to be part of that farming network, we have our major farm up in Wasaic. Um, we're like fighting the banks from taking this land. All of the issues get really, really human once you start going back to the land so we can start creating our own networks of liberated land. So anybody interested in bioregional farm networks Bye. and interested in working with the indigenous, come find this app for farms. We're right next to Kevin on the other side of that there big water thingy. And on the other side of the water thingy, we'll be presenting how to use seed bombs from my friend Ann. Right there, we got cool hats where it's possible to vent. So come find us over that way if you'd like to learn about how to take control of your food system. Direct action all the way. seeds of plants that belong in the dunes. There's two dune systems, it's a double dune, so I'm doing only the, the first dune right after the ocean. And uh, unfortunately I was only able to get three out of the 12 plants that grow that, there. We don't have access to our seeds. Yep. I did a little website, Seed Bomb the Coastline, teaching people also how to go pick the seeds during harvest time and how to plot the dune grass in the winter time when they're dormant and kind of get the communities there to learn how to have this momentum going where three days a year you're taking care of your natural barrier. Okay, we're ready to have seed balls. 